Hey guys, this is Brandon with MotionForm, and today I'm going to show you some lessons from 3D print issues, and I'll show you sort of how to get around them um, pretty much by looking at it and I'll tell you how to deal with them in your modeling program. All right, so this is printing a project I had uh, with an architecture studio I work with um, where um, I had pretty much this basic model and in one of the models you'll see a lot of issues with uh, some of the elements and you'll see a uh, pretty much like where material didn't go through um, and the idea is you see even where like some gaps within the model and it's not really perfect and I know it's hard to see so I'll Make some some uh, little close up. You see holes in the model, and so um, what I did, and you'll see it now. And this is a model where you're looking at all those little elements. And you're seeing how it's it's solid, where there were some holes, and you know a lot of it's pretty much the same. It's 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 essentially trying to deal with an extrusion, and deal with different windows offsets. And also dealing with how do you make something like this overhang. Okay, so uh, this is just a quick sort of tutorial sort of showing like what I did to make this better. And some things that you can do to make your models better. Well, first of all, it's good to always, you know, maybe try a rough uh, slicing. I use Repetier. And I when you slice it, just basically, you know, you'll see some things. Oh, you know, this is only one layer. You know, like that was a, a major giveaway that something's going to be screwed up here. So what I did in uh, my program in SketchUp, what I was using for it is I went ahead and I uh, created an extra solid underneath this 3D form. And I did the same thing underneath this, uh, like this ground. So this is actually a patio for a building. But underneath that, that front little ground, I've went ahead and made it another solid. And to be honest, this this model, which just came out of Revit, the topography was all screwed up. And so I really had to uh, really plot out how I deal with that. And what I did was I really ended up almost remaking it in SketchUp. So that's one, that is a challenge, just transferring between programs. But in general, um, that that yielded a, a good success. And like I... Like I showed you, um, I still had, actually had some issues with the roof, uh, and that's why it was no no issue. I I just used my um, I don't have it right now. Just sort of my wood filler, and I I filled in this part of this this front little roof element right here. This uh, that little roof. I filled that all in with wood filler, and then I I painted it white. So. You know, those are some just basic little things, and the white, of course, goes with this. Those are some basic things you can do with your 3D prints. Uh, if you're dealing with, oh, look, look at these little issues, I think one thing is definitely just slice it with your slicer, see what sort of things are coming out. Print it if it looks like it's going to basically get started and it's not going to really just fall apart. Uh, mind you, if you, you know, I have a class on 3D printing where it talks about making supports. Um, the idea is I had to be really creative with making supports. Um, so make sure that something like this little overhang would come out nicely. And also I've, you know, be able to use an exacto to cut off the, the support afterwards. Um, this is one material print. And so, you know, the idea is you have to be creative with that. So, um, yeah, these are some incredible uh, things to be able to get done uh, using s just SketchUp, uh, Repetier, and just a little common sense. You, if you're looking for some ways to do your 3D prints, you can check out um, my course on 3D printing, which is a link in the description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Again, this is Brandon with MotionForm. If you like this video, if you got something out of it, go ahead and give a like to it on YouTube and subscribe to this channel for more great content for designers, architects, and makers.